I like Moulin Rouge a hell of a lot. Like, I kind of like, but I just think it's rubbish that people say it's bad. I don't care. It's a brilliant film and I love it. It's one of the only films I've ever cried in. The film I take to the grave, whoa. I mean, it literally changes all the time. The Passenger was like the first film that like blew me away. Then I got really into Claire Denny and Third Five Shots to Run. I've got weirdly two DVDs because I just keep on to give to people sometimes. <laughs> and then Leo's Carrots just became really important for me and Boy Meets Girl is something that's, it's such a radical film and so kind of postmodern in so many ways that I just find it inspirational. I mean, there's literally a thousand films like Mishima. I love Mishima. <laughs> I love like Paul Schrader at that moment and also Blue Collar, his first film is mesmerizing. In terms of British films, I think The Arbor is something that's just been really important to me. I find heavy gore really tough, like as in I have no issue with it and I think it's an important tool for any storyteller's you know, visual language, but there are times at which I find it so emotionally testing. And I know it sounds mental, but Aliens 2, I watched it recently, it just like, just destroyed me. I came away like an emotional wreck and I can't explain it. Like I know these aliens don't exist. I know these people aren't really dying, but the whole time it was just shattering me. And I got to the end as if I was watching like the most heavy war film in the world. I don't really, do you, you must have people saying they don't like guilty pleasures because everything's good. Like I really do genuinely believe in flatness. Like all these things that we project as being high and low, it's just rubbish. I like Moulin Rouge a hell of a lot. Like I kind of like, but I just think it's rubbish that people say it's bad. I don't care. It's a brilliant film and I love it. It's one of the only films I've ever cried in. So like I really like, there's something about it that just gets me every time. When I was at art school, a guy wanted to, um, you work, for some reason when you're in second year, you have to help people on their degree show, it's just a thing. I think every British art school does it. And this guy wanted me to cut every single death sequence out of about 300 films. And I, I was into film by that point, so I had seen quite a few of them, but there was about 10 I hadn't seen, but I still had to go through them, scroll through, cut the death scene out, and then like, <laughs> just give it to him to kind of cut them all together. And it means there's about 10 films, which I, I've sort of seen, but I've seen them on fast forward. There's a few, um, uh, blah, 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 sorry, Goddard films actually, where I've watched them on fast forward. And now I'm like, it's a really weird experience. And to be honest, of all the directors to watch on fast forward, that's not a bad one. <laughs> like, I think Pierre Lefou, I definitely watched. And I think I have gone back to it, but I'd probably said I'd seen it when I'd seen it on fast forward. 